Okay, here we're going to solve absolute value inequality. Um, this is going to be uh, case one that we talked about, which is a between uh, two number solution case. Um, and this is from your homework. So the way I know what case it is, I look at the inequality after it's been isolated. And um, I'm going to take this inequality out, uh, the less than symbol. If I put a line through it, that makes an E, which I can spell between with. Okay, so that's how I know it's a between interval. So it tells me several things. Um, I can have a min less than or equal to x less than or equal to some max number, and then of course my number line, which is also included. I've got two numbers it can be closed points because it's equal to, um, and all the x values are going to be in between those two numbers. So all I got to do is just figure out what those numbers are, and I'm good to go. So I already have an idea of what that's supposed to look like. All right, so let's go ahead and apply the uh, KISS method since it's already absolute value. So I'm going to rewrite uh, the inequality without the absolute value bars. Okay, since it's between, I'm going to put AND. And then um, I'm going to apply the KISS method next. So I'm going to keep the inside the same. Okay, switch the inequality, switch the number. And then i got to solve both the sides of these. So now I'm going to add four both sides here. Right, that cancels, I get 4x less than or equal to um, 16, then divide the 4, I'm going to get x less than or equal to 4. Okay, solve the other equation, add 4 both sides, I get 4x greater than or equal to negative 8, divide the 4, get x greater than or equal to uh, negative 2. All right, so that fits my format. So I have an interval of um, negative 2 less than or equal to x less than or equal to the max value of 4. Or I can write it in um, interval notation, which would be negative 2 comma 4. And either of these forms is OK, whichever one you want to write in. Okay, um, but I also got to provide the number line. All right, so simple line, boom, boom, just like before. I got Close points here, so smaller point here, larger number there. And of course, these are going to be all the x values in between those two points, and that'll be my solution.